Today could be an amazing day. And I don't just mean like every day can be amazing if you make it that way. I mean, it could be a truly amazing day in the history of the Franciscans in America. I mean, one of those days that lives on in infamy. Those days that talk about for generations, that truly changes the way that we live here in the United States. This could be an amazing day. It could also be a quite ordinary day, which would be a huge disappointment. We just don't know. You see, I'm here at Siena College, one of the ministries of the Franciscans here on the East Coast, for what is called a chapter. A chapter is a meeting of the friars every three years for the purpose of fraternity, for voting on new counselors, and to talk about our life and mission. But this is no ordinary chapter. In fact, this is an extraordinary chapter. This is a chapter like we've never had before. What makes this so extraordinary? Well, it's not just us here on the East Coast that are meeting, but six provinces across the country are meeting today at the same time to vote on one thing. Do we want to dissolve our provinces and come together as one big U.S. province? And really, the reason for this vote is quite simple. In the United States, there are seven U.S. provinces, which means there are seven provincials, seven vicar provincials, seven provincial councils, seven finance councils, seven vocation directors, seven of everything. And as our numbers continue to dwindle, this doesn't make sense to have so many people in internal ministry. And so it makes much more sense to come together as one province, to share all of our resources that we have, and to be one body of Franciscans. But there's more to it than just the practical necessity of it all. We believe that we are stronger together, stronger in fraternity, stronger in mission, stronger in living this charism St. Francis in the 21st century. With each of the provinces, there are things that we bring to the table, things that we're good at, things that we struggle at, but together we offer an opportunity to grow together. Of course, there are some who disagree with this, and for good reason. The friars have lived independently in this country for over a hundred years, developing their own culture, their own way of doing something, their own identity as Franciscans in the United States. Coming together is not going to be an easy or cheap process. We'd have to decide everything again. How are we going to pray? How are we going to live together? What ministry are we going to do? This, for some, is a waste of time when we already do it ourselves. Why can't we just collaborate rather than coming together as one new entity? And this is tenuous for at least two reasons. The first of which being that we have no idea how this is going to turn out. While yes, we've been talking about this with the other provinces for a number of years and we kind of have a sense of where people are leaning, in order for it to pass, all six provinces have to vote yes in a simple majority. That's a lot of pressure on every single province and it just takes one to vote no for everything to be scrapped. But there's more to it than that. Because no matter how we vote today, there will be joy and there will be sadness. Even if all six provinces vote yes and we're excited about the future together, there's still the reality that we're saying goodbye to our past. That this province that's formed us and has done so much good over the last hundred or so years will be put to an end. And this is tragic for a lot of guys. But that's not till later. Now, it's the epitome of herding cats. Getting friars together for a big picture. Get my new sneakers. <laughs> that was one of the great lines. That, yeah, wasn't the great, he always had a great line. Have you ever seen so many friars in one place? This cannot be good. So many friars of different faiths. Yeah, so many friars of different faiths. I guess I should actually get in this photo. All right, so here we go. We're about two minutes away from calling everyone back. We're gonna vote and then we're gonna reveal it in the next hour or so. Obviously, I'm not gonna be able to film during that time, kind of private, but um, I'll let you know how it goes. Here we go. Five minutes, so please begin to get to your table. All right, so the vote is presumably in at this point. I was one of the tellers, but I don't even know how we voted because we broke them up in groups of three. I know a third of our votes, so I can't help you there. But our provincial knows, and the way that he's going to reveal it to all of us is that he called the other provincials. They shared the numbers with themselves, but no one else knows. And in just a few minutes, we're going to Skype in with the one provincial who knows all the numbers. And all at the same time, across the United States, we're going to hear the numbers together. 
uh, we are going to we are going to mute everybody except for Harley and Rowan. My brothers, peace and good from Albuquerque. We have prayed together and let us pray once more. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. In your goodness, you give us many good gifts. The gift of your Son, Jesus Christ, who shows us your love. The gift of your Spirit, who moves in our hearts and in our lives. The gift of our call to Franciscan life to Franciscan fraternity and mission. You call us now to the renewal of our life and mission in the United States. Help us put aside our fears and embrace hope. Help us strengthen one another by opening our hearts to each other and to your spirit. Help us become Franciscans for our time living and proclaiming the gospel. Let Francis and Claire pray for us. Amen. Amen. In our voting today, in Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary province, 54 friars were present eligible to vote on the chapter floor. 48 voted yes. In Assumption Province, the resolution passed. In Holy Name Province, 182 friars were present on the chapter floor. 128 voted yes. In Holy Name Province, the resolution passed. In Sacred Heart Province, 108 friars were present on the chapter floor eligible to vote. 64 voted yes. In Sacred Heart Province, the resolution passed. In St. Barbara Province, 99 friars were present eligible to vote on the chapter floor. 58 voted yes. In St. Barbara Province, the resolution passed. In St. John the Baptist Province, 95 friars were present and eligible to vote on the chapter floor. 86 voted yes. In St. John the Baptist Province, the resolution passed. In Our Lady of Guadalupe Province, 40 friars eligible to vote were present on the chapter floor. 32 voted yes. In Our Lady of Guadalupe Province, the resolution passed. Yes, applaud if you want. <laughs> So we just heard the results and it passed. Somewhat to my surprise and I think to everyone else's, there was cheers, there was jubilation. We have no idea what this will mean for tomorrow, but that's for tomorrow. For right now, it's just about celebrating, coming together as brothers and realizing that we've done a big thing. This is an amazing day. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, I was texting everybody. By the way, like I'll leading up to it and everything, <laughs> like, the whole uh, day. How's it look like? It's like, and Mark Tickles wasn't getting back to me, so yes. I <laughs> And it was like, I don't know, it's close, but I think it passed. It's exciting. <laughs> you just want everybody to smile. 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 <laughs> smile, you're on candid camera. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's what an amazing day. As I get back to Chicago here and I think back over the last 24 hours, 
I'm left wondering, did that really just happen? The answer is yes, it absolutely did. But the right question is, what just happened? As significant and amazing as this vote was, I stand before you still a member of Holy Name Province, and I probably will for another couple of years. You see, we all voted to suppress our provinces and to join a new one, but just because we did that doesn't mean it happens automatically. This is really just the first step of a very long process. Next week, the provincials of all six provinces will get together to talk about what happened and to make sure it wasn't a fluke. If they all agree that it was a good decision, they'll write a report and send a recommendation to the Minister General. Then he gets to decide. Well, sort of, because nothing is ever that easy in the church. The Minister General will receive our recommendations, but then he'll have to meet with his council, with representatives from all around the world, to decide if this is a good decision to move forward. This process is probably not going to end very quickly, and it could take until the fall that we get a decision. But if they do decide that it's a good idea, they'll then assign a delegate, or maybe two, to represent the Minister General and the Council, and to come visit the United States to oversee the process. And that is when the true fun begins. Beginning not until the winter of 18 or the spring of 19, this delegate, God bless his soul, will be in charge of evaluating the whole process, meaning that he'll have to meet with every single friar in the United States, about 800 of us. He'll have to evaluate our ministries, he'll have to look to the future and write a report to the Minister General. Conservatively speaking, this process is going to take at least a year, maybe even two, leading us as far into the future as 2021. And yet, even after all of this work, we probably won't be done. There's still one thing standing in our way the general chapter of 2021. You see, just as friars of local provinces get together every three years for a fraternal time to vote on new counselors and to look to the future, the general order does this as well, and members are sent from each province to be delegates to the general chapter. For the most part, the only people to get to go to this chapter and vote are the provincials, meaning that if we go from six provinces down to one prior to this chapter, we'll be going down from six votes to one, there's no representation based on size, and even though we'd be a very large province, we would have very little say on some important things coming up in our future. And thus, even if everything goes well, the Minister General and his council approves, they send a delegate and he sends a great report back approving it, we will not be a new province until after 2021. This does not mean, however, that we'll just be sitting on our hands for the next three or four years waiting for something to happen. This whole process is about restructuring, yes, but also about revitalization. What does it mean to be a Franciscan friar in the 21st century? Where should we be going? What should we be doing? What is the ideal life we should be living? And so, even though the vote we took yesterday will have no legal effect for three, four, even five years, change will be felt almost immediately. With this vote is a sense of brotherhood, a sense of collaboration, a sense of common vision that will affect everything we do. Frankly, I have no idea what the future will hold for Franciscans in the United States, but I do know one thing. Our future will be one that we share together. For me, that makes today an amazing day.